The Mekong's muddy waters bear the traces of the lands which it has carved and irrigated for thousands of years. Its swirls told ancient stories of the men and women who once populated its banks, and secrets from the countries that it crosses. The Mekong is the beating heart of Southeast Asia. It is the 12th largest river in the world, rolling along 4,800 kilometers from its sources at the bottom of a peak called Lhasa Gongma by Tibetan nomads. These sources were discovered at an altitude of 5,224 meters by a Sino-Japanese team in 1994. From its sources in the Tibetan countryside, through the Chinese provinces of Yunnan and the riparian countries of Burma, Laos and Thailand, the river reaches Cambodia and becomes the Ton Le Tong, or Great River. In Cambodia's capital city, Phnom Penh, it joins the Ton Le Sap River and then flows to Vietnam before emptying into the South China Sea. The Lower Mekong Basin, which includes Cambodia, Laos, Thailand and Vietnam, has a population of 60 million and possesses rich ethnic and cultural diversity. The majority of the area's people are farmers or fishermen. One third of the population of these countries survives on only a few dollars per day. The resources provided by the river and the flooded area thus make an invaluable contribution to improving the lives of these people. Regarded as the mother of water, the river is one of the most important reserves of fish and aquatic animals in the world. It takes a few hours of travel upriver to access this little village totally isolated on the Mekong in Kompong Cham province. The people of Ton Le Tua subsist on no more than daily fishing in the Mekong and a little rice farming. Fishing is not only an activity, it is a complete way of life. During the rainy season, this village of 40 families sells some of its catches to the markets in the neighborhood with the assistance of a hawker who comes to collect fish. In Ton Le Tua, nothing is more important than fishing. Some of its inhabitants have never even left the village. Here, without the Mekong, life would cease to exist. Here, men do nothing but fish and farm rice. They start from childhood and never stop. During the rainy season, when the flow recession guides migrating fish towards the mother of water, the daily catch reaches 80 kilograms per fisherman. When the activity slows down during the dry season, the villagers limit their activities to maintaining their small aquacultural farms. For this activity too, the Mekong is all important and it provides more fish to feed the larger farmed species. During the rainy season, the flooded areas around the Mekong form a fishing reservoir as vast as island. This seasonal change results in ways of life centered mainly on fish harvesting, whether on remote tributaries of the Mekong or at the mouth of the Ton Le Sap River in Phnom Penh. The Mekong unveils gigantic arrow-shaped traps, trawls and barrage fences. Because of environmental and social factors, there are numerous methods of fishing. Forty different techniques are used in Laos and more than 100 in Cambodia. They range from the most sophisticated to the most rudimentary methods. The Mekong is a powerful economic actor in transport and communications, but its most dramatic strength remains a fisheries field. In spite of the difficulties in drawing up precise statistics, Inside the Lower Mekong Basin, the total catch reaches approximately 2,500,000 tonnes per year, which represents seven times more than the fisheries sector produces in the whole of North America. The income generated by fisheries, including aquaculture and other related activities, is estimated at $2 billion per year. 
This includes subsistence activities, individual or community activities, as well as commercial fisheries. In the four countries of the Lower Mekong Basin, the rate of fish consumption per capita is one of the highest in the world. Cambodia is the leader, followed by Vietnam, Laos and Thailand. Fishing is thus of vital importance to ensure sufficient protein for the populations of these countries. Fortunately, flooding and easy access to the resource generate substantial dynamism in the field. Traditionally, fish is more sought after than other meats such as poultry. This explains the success of the activity and the proliferation of nearby fish markets. This Mekong fisherman supplies the market with fish. He works the traditional way, using a net. This activity brings in, on average, $100 per month. He proudly maintains he is happy with his job. Only the price of gasoline raises some concern for the profitability of this activity. The Lower Mekong Basin produces more than 10% of the world's freshwater fish catch. To preserve and manage in a sustainable way this exceptional richness, the four countries of the Lower Mekong Basin created the Mekong River Commission in 1995. With significant support from scientific institutes and international experts, national and regional programs aim at securing this resource and understanding it better. These programs also try to improve the protection of endangered species such as the giant catfish, named as the king of fish in the area, an icon and ambassador of the Mekong River. The giant catfish is sometimes caught in the nets of fishermen. The survival of this critically endangered flagship species would require a wealthy Mekong that could ensure food security for riparian countries. <laughs>